Ruby really wanted to go in the pot herself. I've grown a baby. Are you happy sitting in your plant pot? Yeah. Everybody, welcome back to my channel welcome to another video so this morning I've got some time to do some gardening so I thought I would bring you along as we get this garden ready for a big summer party so the first thing I need to do is cut the grass and then I bought loads of new plants which I'm gonna pot up and bring you along and show you what I've got what a beautiful day it's so sunny I've got my factor 30 on because I burn so quickly and so easily but yeah let's get this grass cut and we'll do a little plant haul and then we'll do a little garden tour as well Regret choices that I've made I never cry out for help days later but I thought I would show you the plant haul I got from the garden centre. So this is the plant haul. Got quite a few so the first thing I got was two pots to go outside the front door 
their lovely green colour, green and terracotta farmhouse flower pot. And the first thing I got was two dwarf apple trees. So I got this one that's called Jonah Gold. Produces tasty apples, self-pollinating, winter hard, high fruit production. Ruben's doing battle with a big stick. So I got two, two of these and they're going to be the centrepiece for my pots as you can see. I then got two trays of this, these like daisy type flowers. I don't actually know what these are called so if you know what they're called please comment below. I've got two trays of those, two trays of Cosmos. So these are also going to go into this pot which I will show you in a minute. I got three lupin plants. These are yellow lupins. I've got three of those. I got two trailing petunias, which are nice purple plants. They need a water though, they're a bit dry, that's why they're a bit droopy. I also, so that's the other tray of cosmos and the other daisies. I also got three delphiniums. These are blue slash purple delphiniums. I've got three of those and then I got two of these called Summer Snowdrift. I bought these last year and they were just amazing, amazing plants. This one's just coming out. They get really big um, and they're just really lovely. So I've got two of those. Some of these are going into the pots and a lot of it's going into this border and the border in the middle there. And then the last plant I got was this, Acanthus, white water. This was an impulse purchase. It's supposed to get quite tall. Oops. Um, what does it say here? 150 centimeters tall. So this is going into the tropical border along with the other large leafed plants because I just think it will be it will just look really striking in this border here so yeah two pots and then all these plants in a nice haul this is an in, one of my indoor plants that I've bought out for the summer so he, they need to go into a nice pot they're gonna have a, a summer outdoors yeah, I thought I'd come, I'd just set you up while I I pot up my new pots. I'll do one here um, so you, to show you, and then I'm going to do the other one out the front of the house. But I'll just show you how I'm going to layer up this pot to make it look nice all summer long. Okay, so. So I've already pre-filled this pot with some compost and the apple tree is going to be the centrepiece. So I've put it kind of in the, towards, in the middle but towards the back of the pot and that's about the right level so I don't need to worry about that. I'm going to fill a bit more of the compost around this apple tree and then I'm going to do the layering of the pot. So you kind of want um, the kind of general rule for pots is to have uh, a spiller so something that will spill out the front a filler that will fill these gaps and then a showstopper so the apple is the show showstopper the trailing petunia is going to be the spiller and the cosmos and the daisies are going to be the filler plants so yeah.
going to tease out some of these roots just so they stop going round and round in a circle. Let's see. This is the spiller. So I need to, I'm going to put it in this, in the pot here, but at a slight angle. So then it will, it will hopefully continue to spill out over the front. Lovely. Now I'm going to add the daisies and the cosmos. So I'm going to try and make them symmetrical-ish. Um, let's just see how deep these are. Okay, I'm going to have to put a little bit of more compost in. going to get much taller so they're going to go at the front like this I think I'll do yeah I'll do two red ones at the front ones here in the middle like that and then because the cosmos is going to grow quite tall that's going to be at the back so you have this the petunia spilling out over the front then you have the first sort of ground layer of these daisies then you have a taller layer of the cosmos and then finally the tallest layer of the apple tree so it goes up in tiers towards the back and for pots, especially pots which are only going to be seen from one angle, that tiered effect is what's going to make it look really nice. two cosmos, an apple tree, one apple tree, two cosmos, three daisies and the, the petunia to spill out and for a pot this size that's absolutely plenty that's you don't want to put any much more in there because it will um, be too crowded. So now I've put the plants in I'm just gonna backfill the top with compost to make sure everything's got a good layer of compost around it I'm going to give it a really good drink, probably an entire watering can. And then we're going to move, be able to move it out to the front. I'll have to get Scott to help because it will be very, very heavy once it's full of, now it's full of compost and once it's been watered. Um, and then I'm going to do the other pot, the sa exact same, and make them symmetrical and have them at the front of the house. So it's a nice greeting for when you walk through the front door. I have this dream of, you know, when Olivia is at school uh, and when we come back from nursery at the moment, but as she gets older, we come back from school, being able to pick our apple straight from the tree as we're walking in through the door. So she can literally pick a snack as she's walking through the front door. And I love flowers, but I also want this garden to become a bit more productive in terms of fruit and veg production so having a couple of apple trees at the front of the door is a good way to start doing that. Hello everyone, so it's quite a few days later. This vlog has really been filmed over about two weeks because 
that's the reality of my life. I can't do everything, even every day. I can't do gardening every day anymore. But this weekend we have so much to do in the garden. So I'm gonna be bringing you all along. We have had a very, very exciting delivery. So I will show you later um, what that is and I'm setting it up, but it's very exciting. But it goes on the patio. So the first thing I need to do is I need to plant out all the plants from my plant hall into the garden. Um, we need to pressure wash the patio, move all the pots and pressure wash the patio because that needs to be clean before we can put anything on it. So I'm going to be doing those two jobs and then we'll be setting up our exciting new addition. So yeah, a very busy, busy day but all nice gardening things and it's a bit cloudy and overcast at the moment but it's supposed to be really hot and really sunny today so hopefully the sun does come out but this is such a perfect temperature for gardening so I'm not actually complaining but yeah I better get cracking because I just have a lot to do today Okay, so a little update on the patio. We've been pressure washing. Can you see where we've got up to? <laughs> washed, not washed. So, just got the second half of it to do now. We've had a bit of a break for lunch and just having a break. So yeah, do the second half now. Hello, so it's now um, a Monday, bank holiday Monday. And I didn't get to film much yesterday in the garden because the weather was just so on and off. Sorry, it's so bright. But anyways, I want to show you the exciting new addition to the garden. So, we have a Livy Lou in her playpen in the shade. And you're here to help Mummy and Daddy put up their new sofas. So we've got we went with the Habitat Ella five seater sofa set in natural cream. It looks really nice on the website, and I put on my Instagram, and I'll put my Instagram handle here. We actually saved six percent, so we saved fifty seven pounds in the end because I had um, we have a like a staff discounts page through my work and you can get like discounts on all sorts so we get our Tesco food like thing off five percent this was six percent it's got like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of partners so yeah we saved ourselves a bit of money getting it and yeah I think it's we wanted to get how long that we wanted to get an outdoor sofa for like three years haven't we ever since we moved in really so it really I think it's really going to make the space and we pressure, we finished pressure washing the patio, so that's all done. And obviously they've got washing hang out here. You're so excited, ready to get a sofa? Yeah. And you're here as well. You're going to help or hinder? You look after your sister. Mm. Right, let's get building. <laughs> 